I'm gonna show you how easy it is to add an overlay in CapCut PC. So we're gonna start by taking our main clip and dragging it onto the timeline. This is just a simple aerial video of a beautiful beach. Next, we're gonna take our talking head video and we're gonna drag it on top of our main video. You can see when we did that, it now covered up our aerial video. So what we wanna do with the top clip selected, simply go here and then you're able to grab this and just resize it to any size that you like. That looks good. And then you can move it anywhere that you want on the screen. And typically in talking head videos, they're either in the bottom right or bottom left. So we'll put it right there. That looks good. Now let's say that we wanna make this so it's just my face and cut out most of this snowy background. So to do that, again, with the top clip still selected, go over here, you see video, basic. We're gonna go over to mask and then we're gonna click on add mask. And since it's my face we wanna show, we'll go with circle. And then we're simply going to just resize this a little bit, just so it shows mainly my face and then we can move it over, that looks good. So now if we were to play this, see we have our talking head describing this beautiful aerial video of a beach. One more thing I wanna show you, again, let's select that top clip. Let's say we wanna remove the background and just have my face. This is a really cool feature with the pro version of CapCut, makes it super simple to do this. Simply go to video and then remove BG and click on auto removal. You can see it's processing. This usually just takes a minute or so. And there we go, now my background's removed. It's just my beautiful face. Let's go full screen and see what this looks like. So there we go, and let's play it. So now we've got our talking head talking about this beautiful beach. So it's that simple to add an overlay in CapCut. We did it on desktop here, but it'd be very similar with the mobile app. If this was helpful, please leave a like and consider subscribing for more tutorials. See you in the next one.